Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Folklore. Last time we started off this new realm, Warcadia. Where there's apparently this crazy war going on between different folks. Uh, I guess the rebel faction and the fairy faction? I guess? I, I honestly don't know who's fighting right now. Uh, but we're just making our way in and killing everyone, so that's one way to end a war, I guess. <laughs> Seems to me these fairy guys are starting to look a little bit suspicious. They're trying to make their way into deeper into the netherworld uh, with me paving the way for them. Um, I don't know. I don't like being used, dude. Don't pay us any heed, just go and search for your dead. This battle is a netherworld affair. There are some who object to having you two involved. Right, keep me stupid and ignorant, right? Well, I'm on to your little game. Oh, yes. I'm on to your little game. Uh. Hi there. The dead in Warcadia, for the most part, all had a sudden or accidental death. So the same must be true for the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. A sudden or accidental death. So that's what this place is all about. Whew! It was quite a feat to come all this way, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Machine soldiers in Warcadia are ridiculously durable, so they're really hard to deal with. To begin with, you'll need to do something about their armor. Okay. Rumor has it that the ambush unit has a secret weapon. Believe this. Or believe this. See. Okay. <laughs> I saw them only the other day. Machine, machine soldiers buzzing around. I'm sure they were summoned by Thunder Machine Soldiers. You're saying a lot of weird things, my friend. This is a battlefield. Unlike the Fairy Realm, we don't have a room to meet the dead in here. In this realm, the spirits of the dead could be running around on the battlefield. Ugh, that's weird. So maybe I won't have to beat the Folklore. Maybe Ryan's just running around, hanging out. I have a fire, dude. I surely do not. Unless it's this degasser guy. Nope. I can't even get in here unless I have a fire thing. Interesting. I think that's fire. Maybe it was purple. I don't have that either. <laughs> All right, all right. Can I go another way? I'm pretty sure there's another path from this room here. Uh, yeah, something off to the right over here. Not there though. Oh yeah, this bridge. Ha ha. Oh, hoo hoo, hee hee. Uh oh. Oh man, it's a gaboy. A gaboy. Bam, he get punched. Bam. These guys even hurt it. Bam. Oh yeah. So that thing is actually really good. Um, probably gonna use it instead of the Degasser. It's a combo attack that has pretty long range and it does lightning stabs. Oh, of course, I can't even hit these things with it, so never mind. <laughs> it's good against everything else. Oh, 
villain. Golden ore. Oh. So I am gonna need this guy. Yeah, these are purple. They look red because of the lighting. It's really sneaky. Uh, so giant arm man is good against guy with half a face on his arm. Okay. I don't think we've seen that guy. Oh, oh close up. Eat this! Hey, you just crouch down and make a lightning shield. It does not affect giant punching man. It does not affect giant punching man. Tree nut, purple stone, and nothing. Uh oh. Boosh! Yeah, now I can do. Wait, I already have three? Oh, didn't even realize. <laughs> Actually, a lot of folk from Warcadia are really good. I like them more than the, the guys from the Fairy Realm, for sure. Although, you're gonna need those guys later. At times. Hello, giant V-shaped plane creature. So this is what the lightning stab ears are good against. See, he gets all electrocuted and stunned. Come on. Slam, 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 slam. Oh! Done. Got plane. A worth hog? What was that? What was that noise? Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Wow, I pushed target instead of dodge. Oh god, he's dropping bombs. We're out the way! Look at his, like, pilot face. <laughs> it's funny looking. Alright, I gotta be careful here. Try to do one of these long captures with people around, you're bound to get hit. Alright, let's see what the Worth Hog is all about. Or Worth. Oh, it's a Warthog. What the heck? Why did I see Worth Hog? What the heck? I'm going crazy right now. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see. So he drops bombs, I think. Carpet bomb, carpet bomb, and carpet bomb. Bam, 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 bam. That's pretty cool, but I don't really know how useful that would be. So somebody told me that these blue dots actually um, indicate where you've been before. So if you see a blue dot, going back to an area you've already been. That's actually really helpful. Thank you for that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to my super punch. My falcon punch. Uh, oh, hello. Give me that goodie. Give it. Nothing. It was a trap. Oh my. Sniper guy. Oh. 
Oops, didn't mean to. Whoops. Whatever. <laughs> dust. Yellow dust. I need some health. Uh, go, my minions. <laughs> Whoops. Land. Green crystals. I have just the folk for you. Right here. Aha! Help. And something else I didn't see. Awesome. This almost looks like the moon. With giant spikes everywhere. Uh, who did I have here? Okay, this guy. Got boy. Got boy. Out of my way, foos. I don't want to fight you. Please leave me alone. Actually, I have the purple. I'm the purple guy now. Oh god. Alright, this fight is gonna be a little intense. Here we go. This is Gargantua. The Tarantula uh, tank thing. It's not really safe anywhere around this thing. It shoots bullets out of the sides and backs up really fast and charges forward really fast. And you almost have to be at a diagonal. Oh my god. Or he could just spin around. Crazy nut. <laughs> Ow. Okay, please, please don't kill me, you stupid spider. I'll get you yet. Be very careful. Oh, yeah. Out of blue juice. Oh my god. You can stop freaking out now. Oh my god. He's gotta be close to dead by now. Well, I'm certainly close to dead. Please. Let me capture you. Oh god. Killed my giant punching man. Oh god! Uh, okay. <laughs> How many hits do you take? This thing is such a monster. health in this room. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. Please don't. Wow, this is like the worst place I could possibly be. Wow, I don't remember him taking this many hits. His face is looking a little scrappy. Ow. Yeah, I died. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't remember it being that hard. Jeez. Okay. Well, see you back here. <laughs>
All right, you giant freaking monster. Round two. I'll try to use more degasser on this guy. He looks like he needs a bit more pounding. Ah, God, he's backing up. Right in the face. Oh. Actually, maybe the plane guy would be good against him. Let's try that. Carpet bombing, carpet bombing, carpet bombing. To it. Wow. This thing's such a jerk, man. <laughs> Look how messed up his face is already, though. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how much faster. Wow. It slams. Woo. Wow, that went a lot smoother. He just takes a lot of damage. Okay, well, we got it. Gargantua will get. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Boosh! It's a long range cannon shot. Bam! And actually, you have to use Gargantua quite a bit uh, and for this folklore coming up and also for some future ones, too. Wow, that was... <laughs> that was kind of tough. That's the toughest one, though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, we're already at the end. Ah, oh, so you made it this far safely. Yes! No thanks to you. We intend to support you, of course. Thank you very much. What is it? You seem concerned about something. Why are you all helping me like this? Well, helping you benefits the fairy realm. Do you plan on waging war in the next realm, too? You misunderstand us, Ellen. True, we do want to make this Warcadia a better place. We have no intention of bringing conflict to other realms, however. Yes, I'm sorry. Of course you don't. How can you trust these guys, Ellen? Look at him. He's, he's funny looking. Our aim is for you to go to the Netherworld's deepest reaches. Do I need to go there? And enter the Netherworld core? The Fairy Lord will no doubt explain all of this to you soon. Whatever. I'm sure you're fighting only to find out about your past, but to us, you are our... You are our hope. I hope you can find a way to win for us somehow. We'll be going with you as well. I don't want to be your hope, I just want to find out about, about my past. Crazy jerks. Battle with Dreadnought will finally commence, Ellen. We are not skilled at fighting, but we will give our all to support you. Okay. What would you like to ask? Who's the ruler? The Warcadia Folklore Dreadnought is a terrifying weapon of destruction. It burns plenty of fuel, but is able to carry plenty, so it just keeps on going and going. Set its fuel on fire, and it's likely to go up in a big bang. The armor is extremely thick, so its tank can't easily uh, can't be easily pierced. Oh man. 
The area ahead is an extremely hotly contested zone, literally crawling with folks. Be very cautious. Okay. If you defeat this folklore, that will make two. You're a messenger stronger than we've seen in a long while. I hope you'll be able to defeat this folklore, no matter how strong. I hope so too. She's here. <laughs> Very one who once threw the netherworld into chaos. I'm sure she's gloating over the chaos too. There was an unfamiliar man wearing glasses with her. Who could he be? Wait. Wait, that Levain girl is the one that sent the netherworld into chaos? Hmm. And she, she's part of the rebel faction, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to save now. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, behind this door, there is a big... Like... Gauntlet of enemies. And then the boss. I don't think we're going to really have time for that in this episode. So, instead, I'm going to see if I can do a side quest back in Doolin. Because I think that's where we can get the the Warcadia cloak thing. And that would be pretty nice to have. Look at that. Grave swallowed me up, but I can just leave free as a jaybird. Free as a jaybird. Look at this nice church. A little creepy with all these gravestones out here, but uh, pretty nice church. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to sleep and then go back to the pub. I actually did uh, some quests for the from the daytime pub guy. I don't think he starts giving out quests until at least chapter three, maybe chapter four. Oh, excuse me, O'Connell. I'm going back in my shack. <sighs> Trying to remember what the side quest was that I need to do, but <laughs> I really don't remember. Guess we'll find out pretty soon. Go, Ellen, go! Let's see what music's playing tonight. There's definitely a lot more songs than Danny Boy. There's, I've heard at least four different songs now, I think. Here are the available quests. Alright, I think I need to do Bullseye. Yep, you get Battlefield Cloak for doing Bullseye's defection. Escort Bullseye to the exit. Good God, help me. <laughs> the soldier folks of Arcadia have intense training. One of the Bullseye ran off to escape. I'd probably do the same if I were a soldier in that world. Help him escape, will you? Sure. I'll help him. Can't uh, uh, ensure he's going to live, though. Because escort quests. Hi there. So you're the bullseye that went AWOL, hmm? Come on. I'll help you get, uh, help get you out of here. Well, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> oh boy. Don't touch my friend. Stop it. Wow, that went relatively smoothly, actually. Go, 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 soldier. Go, go, go. Is he following me? Stuck on the pillar. That's okay. <laughs> I think he just teleports. Yep. Oh god. Hey, 
buddy. So, uh, if he takes too much damage and his Ood pops out red, I can accidentally absorb him and that counts as a death for him. It's kind of bogus. I've done that many times. <laughs> hey, stop pew pewing. Stop it. Bullseye Karma up. Right on. Okay. Uh, that building is like diagonal. <laughs> what happened there? So unfortunately we can't take the quick route back to the entrance. We got to take this longer route. But so far so good. Not too many enemies this way. Sweet. Hi there. Don't you do it! Wow, this is going so much smoother than the first time I did this class. <laughs> he was dying in like every room. I think we're almost there. This one room, and we're good to go. And the cool thing about these side quests where you have to escort people is uh, these things stay dead. So if your guy dies, you can just run through all these rooms again, and everything's already cleared out. So there's really no punishment for them dying other than making it more tedious to get around. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where? Oh. Wait, I see his dot, but I'm blind. There you go. Okay. Oh, we might have one more room. This is a cool, like, circle of stones right here. I'm not really sure what this weird creepy cross thing represents though. Oh there yeah that's where I have to go. More people don't stab me. Oh so did you Gotcha. Look at that. Easy peasy. Ride like the wind, Bullseye! <laughs> it's so weird looking. <laughs> no one should follow you this far. What's this? You're giving me something? Oh yeah! Battlefield cloak. Why, thank you. Now you take care. Don't let me catch you around these parts again, or I'll, I'll stab you but good. I like how they make her walk a little bit. Like it's some kind of mini cutscene or something. <laughs> you helped him escape. That's a relief. Yep. Wow, you're out of behind your bar there. Getting your beard hair all over the stools. Calm down, Ganganoa. Calm down. Okay. Well, uh... Hi there, people. You, I, I bet they say different things now. There's a half-life named Charlie Rawhead. He's the best saxophonist you've ever heard. But he's a bit temperamental. He won't play unless all his conditions are met exactly. We really would like to hear him. Can anything be done? Demona, you did not pay attention at all when I did that side quest, apparently. Alright, you crazy folk, I'm just... I mean, not folk, you're... 
half lives apparently. You just stay here. I'm going outside. Goodbye. So that was the, the side quest I wanted to do. The other one, you have to hunt down bar guests, and you get um, materials for upgrading folk and stuff. I don't really want to do that right now. I just want to get that cloak so we can have an epic fight with the folklore next time. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to end it here, guys. Next time, we're going to take on the folklore. And all its giant dreadnaughty ways. So yeah, see you guys next time.